There have been a number of studies to try to understand how the treatments in bipolar disorder work. And in fact, one of the strategies that's been used to try to understand what's wrong biochemically in the brain in people with bipolar disorder is to trace the treatments backwards. Look and say, okay, lithium works in bipolar disorder. What does lithium do in the brain? Or valparate, similar kind of thing. Lithium appears to impact on um, one um, uh, second messenger. So there's been a lot uh, on a number of second messengers. In particular, there's been a lot of evidence in bipolar disorder that it's not just the neurotransmitters that are on the cell surface that are involved in bipolar disorder, but also the second messengers, which are the ones that get involved once the signal gets inside the cell. And one particular uh, such messenger, for example, is called GSK3, and that has been implicated um, in the mechanism of action of lithium. Lithium seems to perhaps work on that particular messenger system, um, and that may have something to do with why it's effective in bipolar disorder. That's just one example, though. There are many such others. Uh, Valparate, for example, works on the GABAergic system. So that's another neurotransmitter. Um, of course, the um, atypical antipsychotics, which are effective in bipolar disorder, work on both serotonergic and dopaminergic uh, neurotransmitters. So that also implicates those systems in bipolar disorder.